I grew up in Durham, North Carolina. So there's a lot of banjo around there. And I guess that's how I ever started playing banjo. I bought one at a neighbor's yard sale when I was about 12 years old. And that's what I was never a huge banjo fan before that, but I just happened to get it there. And that's what led me to pursue banjo for all these years. And what was the scene like in in North Carolina at that time? Um, man, we were really lucky. I was lucky that I went to high school with some other friends that were into bluegrass. If you've mm -hmm. heard of John Stickley, he has a band called the John Stickley Trio. So we were in high school together, and he played guitar and mandolin. So we got to start a band and just kind of hone our chops that way. And there was a really great organization called Banjo in the Hollow in Raleigh that had monthly jams, and there were just amazing players there. So that was hugely lucky that we got to play with the older generation there all through high school. And then uh, by the time we got in college, I joined a band called The Big Fat Gap that uh, Ryan Cavanaugh came in and out of, and Rex McGee okay. played fiddle in some. So that's when it really took off. We we met Ryan Cavanaugh and we were just like, holy cow, man. And we kind of right. followed him around all through college trying to figure out what the heck he was doing, you know. <laughs> right. Because he was just on right. another level. Yeah. You're lucky, yeah, you're lucky to have, you know, have have like a little scene like that and have have somebody that pushes you to something that like shows you that these other things can be done, you know, right. So you're just kind of figuring it out on your own blindly. We were really lucky between yeah. the banjo in the hollow and the big fat gap. And, you know, the Stickley brothers in high school easily could have just been playing banjo at home in the closet, you know? <laughs> right, 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 right. So it was, it was fun to be in a band. That's really, for me, it was really being in a band and playing with friends that, that did it for me that sealed the deal. Like, this is what I want to do with my life.